I think the, the national labs really offer a, a very good opportunity for young professors, I mean professors, more senior professors like me, but definitely for young professors and students uh, for internships and, and you know, during the, their school years. I think it's really very good exposure and helps them, you know, realize, you know, what they really want to do. My, my sabbatical at, um, at Lawrence Rivermore is focusing more on, on image analysis, but also drawing from human perception, which, which is, a, you know, makes, is a very interesting um, idea because human, humans are very good at analyzing the world, so we want to leverage what we know from human perception for doing automate, automated uh, machine understa you know, understanding, analyzing the world, drawing conclusions about what we see. Doing research can, cannot be in a vacuum and, and funding always, funding agencies are looking for, for reasons to, to fund. Okay? So supporting the efforts at the, at the National Lab is really a very good way to, to link with the funding agency. Being at the National Lab um, is, is really a very good place to find out about problems. I, I've had a lot of fun during the past five months uh, talking with people and finding out what, what they're interested in. And these are problems from like surveillance, um, dealing with um, um, uh, energy issues. Uh, the National Ignition Facility is a very uh, big effort here at, at uh, Lawrence Livermore. There are a lot of challenging problems associated with that. And it's been fun talking to people and finding out what the problems are and then how we can address them. And, and actually all the time I've been here, I've been uh, in conta constant co uh, contact with my students, um, explaining some of the problems to them and, and, and working with them uh, to, f to, to solve them, to really you know, s find ways to approach, to, to, to attack the problems. And, and I think uh, after, after spending five months here, I'll have several years worth of, of uh, ideas to pursue when I go back. The focus of my, my research in the context of, of funding from the Department of Energy was on video surveillance uh, using images, for example, aerial images, um, to um, try to detect objects, analyze, um, analyze the surrounds of, let's say, nuclear plants, uh, different, different facilities, and, and um, identify activity that is of interest. Uh, one of the, of the the ideas that I've tried to leverage is uh, uh, understanding texture and how texture leads to, to identifying the objects. And um, I use texture for segmentation uh, to differentiate different, you know, to find different objects, okay, segment the image into, into regions of perceptually uniform texture. Now, texture carries a lot of information about the objects, so my focus now is shifting to Looking at texture, can we tell what the material is? Uh, the, the, main, the main goal is to, to, to the collaborations and, and how much you can learn from them. Of course, going to a nice location is also a motivation. And, and definitely, Lawrence Livermore satisfies this. Being in the Bay Area is really a great experience, not only because it's a beautiful area, but because it's near Sil Silicon Valley. There are so many companies um, that do exciting things, and, and actually that's where also IEEE, uh, my, my professional society involvement, the connection with Lawrence Livermore and, and my background come together. I, I had the privilege to give talks at IEEE, local IEEE sections of the Signal Processing Society. I linked up with people who are doing exciting research here. One of, uh, actually, uh, I, I, I came in contact with companies that do exciting work, startup companies. It's amazing how, how much interesting work goes on here. So, so really, Lawrence Livermore is, in that sense, an ideal place to be because you, in addition to exciting work that goes on here, you also have opportunities to link up with people in the Bay Area. For professors that are considering sabbatical, sabbatical um, locations to, to, to do their sabbatical, and also actually for students who want summer internships, and um, whether at the graduate level or undergraduate, I think a place like Lawrence Livermore is a great place to be. 
I mean, it's, it's, it's a nice geographic location. It's, it's located near Silicon Valley, a lot of universities in the area, and a lot of exciting work going on at the Lawrence Livermore. So, so the question is, uh, if a student, a high school student, is interested in pursuing a career like similar to mine, for example, uh, what, how should they prepare, best prepare themselves? And my advice is, actually my daughter is, is in a similar situation right now, and she has some specific interests. And my advice is, build a strong foundation in, in physics, mathematics, basics, you know, sci scientific basics. The applications and the problems will come later. It's very difficult to acquire the basics later on. Okay, so focus on the basics and, and then everything else will come. When you go to, to the university and you work with a professor or when you go to a place like Lawrence Livermore.